بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونتوب إليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We are very happy to announce to you what our focus will be this Ramadan insha'Allah ta'ala and how we hope our focus will go will uh, will better help you to connect to Allah Rabbul Alameen and the focus is connecting to the Quran so connecting to Allah Azza wa Jal through his last last revelation of the Quran and we are going to inshallah ta'ala help this uh, happen by focusing on the linguistics so when we think about Allah Rabbul Alameen uh, telling us in the Quran, Shahru Ramadan al-Ladhi unzila fihi al-Quran hudan lil-nasi wa bayyinatin min al-huda wal-furqan. He tells us that it is the month of Ramadan in which the Quran was sent down to humanity for their guidance with clear signs of guidance and discernment. So, why focus on understanding the language? Because in order for the Quran to fulfill its purpose of being guidance, containing clear manifest signs, you have to understand what we're reading. And we know that in Ramadan, alhamdulillah, we are, for the most part, many of us, we're attending the masjid, we're praying taraweeh, we're reading the Qur'an more, and some will even try to read the entirety of it in the Arabic. But the meaning is something that almost always or all too often, it becomes overlooked. Why? Because those who can read the Arabic, they'll do so, even though they don't understand the language. Those who um, know the language are not necessarily the majority. And so that third category of those who can't read it in the Arabic, and therefore the only thing they can do is read the translation, that's um, a smaller portion of what we're dealing with here. But why? Why should we care to even want to understand what Allah is saying in the Arabic when we have the translation, whether it be in any language, Urdu, English, Turkish, Persian, why have to read it in the original? Let's understand that the power of the Qur'an the force of the Qur'an, it's within the language of the Arabic. And that's why every other language is going to be nothing more than a translation. And it is going to inherently be, um, how do we say, naqis, that is going to be incomplete. The connection of the Qur'an in the Arabic language was such that the power of it, it forced some of the non-believing Arabs of Quraysh at the time of the Prophet ﷺ to declare that the Prophet ﷺ, that he was either a poet or that he was some type of a sorcerer. Why? Because the inherent strength and power of the original language of the Arabic, it cannot be matched in anything else. So in us hopefully being able to better understand the Quran in the Arabic, we hope and pray that inshallah ta'ala it'll strengthen our love for Allah Azza wa Jal, our devotion to Him, strengthen our faith in a way that truly helps make all the difference for us. And so I hope that you'll join us on these mini sessions that will be in the Allah Azza wa Jal, truly make a difference in your faith as well as in your relationship to Allah Azza wa Jal through the Qur'an.